Well, central banks around the world are risking recession and raising interest rates. They're following the lead of the U.S. Federal Reserve, which approved its third consecutive 75 basis point hike yesterday, uh, or rather Wednesday. Wednesday. It is Friday, right? Yes, it Wednesday. Is. <laughs> it doesn't uh, feel like it. So they did it in the hopes of cooling inflation rates. So far, that hasn't worked, That's which is right. why they have promised there will probably be more hikes. So let's bring in Howard Schneider to talk more about this. He's the Federal Reserve correspondent for Reuters. Uh, Howard, explain why, as Amory was pointing out, the steps that the Fed is taking have uh, such a wide-ranging impact on markets outside of the United States. Yeah, well, look, everybody, uh, every country is sort of uh, fighting its own inflation battle uh, right now. Uh, the reason the Fed's actions have these sort of global repercussions is the U.S. Treasury market, the rate, interest rate paid on U.S. Treasuries, really forms kind of a, a, a risk-free reference rate for lots of other stuff around the world. Uh, anybody that's borrowing in dollars or importing oil in dollars or, uh, uh, you know, really doing anything in dollars is going to be sensitive to U.S. interest rates. So when the Fed hikes, the world feels it. Didn't the yen, something happened with the yen, right? Did it slide because yeah. it, it because they didn't adjust interest rates there? Well, yeah, that's right. The, the Bank of Japan uh, has not really changed its interest rate settings. So, uh, you know, the yen has been uh, has been weakening uh, uh, quite a bit, and they intervened yesterday to mm. try to to try to prop that up a little bit, um, because you know here again dollar strength means they're going to be paying more for oil, uh, which you know is a big is a big bite out of it for their companies and and, and their people there. So they uh, took the unusual step, first time in a quarter century, I think, of uh, propping up their own currency with an intervention, and some people think that's the first of others to come. Uh, around the world as, 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 as other countries, so developing countries and developed countries uh, deal with this. So that's like a perfect example of how, you know, when mm -hmm. the Fed makes a decision, there could be an immediate reaction around the world. You said some people think that, right. that there's a danger. What would be the, the what's the dangerous part about that? Well, a couple of things, um, you, you know, if the, if the Fed keeps going higher, faster, longer, um, you, you know, consider a corporation uh, in India or Malaysia, Vietnam, wherever, uh, that took out dollar loans, I don't know, five or 10 years ago at, at, at really low interest rates and now has to refinance that. Well, you know, instead of having something that's affordable, it's going to be a lot more expensive. So there are credit, uh, credit stresses that may start developing uh, really around the world as a result of this. So is Fed Chair Jerome Powell concerned about all mm -hmm. these, these other central banks changing their monetary policies at the same time? Well, they talk about spillovers, and they certainly take that into account, but it's always through the frame of what's it going to do to the U.S. economy. Uh, so un unless they see some action of theirs sort of, you know, cycling around the globe and, and coming back home to haunt them, they're going to press ahead. How does this situation compare to the aftermath of 2009 when there was a financial crisis then? Yeah, a really interesting question because interest rates and mortgage rates in the U.S. are starting to approach the levels we saw back then. Big difference now in a word, leverage. Uh, households, companies aren't as indebted as they were back then. And you don't have this situation where the mortgages outstanding on homes are higher than the home is worth. Uh, that's what caused the problem in 2009. Mm. Fascinating. Howard Schneider, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Sure thing.